Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more, finally, trading for Trout here in MLB The Show 19 with the Blue Jays. Now, I have actually tried this earlier, uh, well not earlier today, but like a while ago, and I was really struggling. But we're going to try it again because I really want to get it done, and I really want to be able to, I can't even get the initial trade. So, I was able to at one time, but I broke the rules because I did more than three trades uh, before the actual, like, trades. So I was like, oh, crap. So, yeah, there's some uh, some things that need to be done for sure in order for this trade to work. But before we get into the rules and how this series works, let's shoot for 500 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support. And subscribe, join the Dorsal family, and help us get closer to 100k before the end of September. Now, here are the rules. Oh, and one more thing. If you guys would like to see a certain team used uh, for the next Trading for Trout episode, you know, a team you want us to trade any whatever we need, whatever we need to in order to get Trout, uh, let me know in the comments. The comment with the most thumbs up is the winner and the one that will be used in the next episode. So we've already done the Phillies and the Mets and now the Blue Jays. So here are the rules for the series. We are allowed three trades per season. All of them have to be done at the trade deadline unless offered by the CPU. We are allowed unlimited trades if they are offered by the CPU. However, if we edit it in any way, it counts as one of the three. We are allowed to sign however many free agents we want during the season, but can only sign three during the offseason. Also, during the offseason, we can have however many trades we want. No restrictions apply to any trades other than not being allowed to trade Trout, as that would ruin the whole purpose of the series. Three seasons simmed, no more, no less. Here are the rules for the Trout trade. We have to choose from one of the suggested trades from the CPU after selecting Trout. If there are any suggested trades, if there aren't, we are free to make our own. However, we cannot acquire anything other than trout unless conflicts such as salary occur. So that is all there is to it for this. So we are going to go over to the trade screen now. So basically, we have to choose one of the recommended trades or one of the suggested trades. If uh, which way am I going this way? Probably not the way. Nope, we're good. Okay, so we have to choose from one of these if there is an option. I doubt there will be. There will not. So that means we have to come up with one ourselves. So we have Vlad. We have Guriel Jr. Biggio. I didn't know he was that high of an overall, though. That is actually pretty nice. Although I do want to keep all of these guys. Where is Bo Bichette? He's got to be here. Okay, so... I'm kind of surprised there isn't any. Like, what if I did Bo Bichette and Vlad and Biggio? I just want to know if that would go through. Okay, it would, but there would be budget issues on our part, it looks like. So I'm going to try and get rid of Guriel and not Biggio. Um, wait. Oh, we got Bo Bichette selected. That's why. I was like, wow, they'll take that. I mean, Guriel I'm okay to get rid of, even though he... He is pretty decent. I would I would not mind keeping him. It's just like is it really worth it? Um Gritchick. Still got budgetary constraints. Okay, this one might be a little tough to do. Um because of budget. Uh we don't really have any. Clayton Richard. Oh wait, we can't. Um If I could do Giles, that would be great. And then maybe get rid of Bichette and do Guriel. I don't know if that will work. See, this was the issue before. Um, I, it was just It's very tough to do this challenge because of budget. And that's still not going to work. Um, Kevin, Kevin Biggio has a big contract, though. So, like, how much do we have? Let me see what, that, what the case is there. Um, I should probably see what our contracts are, too. Uh, we don't have that many. Gritchick's our biggest one. And then Giles and Smoke. But I don't think we can get rid of all them. Um, I mean, we can break the rules. 
in order to actually get this trade to work by like trading away some guys if need be because I don't quite know if we have the the, the space uh, we have five mil hmm okay that is not good what are our sponsorships we should probably equip some um let me see ten thousand per double play oh no let's go for ten thousand per home run uh okay and instead of the save one because i don't know how many we're gonna be getting we'll do the double play all right um okay so that doesn't change anything does it no okay yeah this is gonna be a tough one for sure uh, it's just, I got five mil. Obviously, I'm not going to purchase anything. Uh, that would kind of ruin the whole thing. All right. Um, make trade. Let's see what we have here. I don't want to do him now. Definitely not. Let me go back over here. It's just that contract is going to kill us. That's the problem. So... Even if I were to do... What if I selected Guerrero now? I, I didn't think it would do anything, but... It's still giving me that budget. And these are the... No, where's what's-his-name? Yeah, Gritchick had the big one, too. But still, that's not enough. I don't even know if I like how I can do this. You know what I mean? But it looks like we're still getting a cash flow, so that's what I don't quite understand. Unless they're the team... In trouble? Is it them? It can't be them. It's got to be us. Yeah, okay. I, that's what I thought. Eric Pardino, we could throw him in. See, the thing is, it's budget. That's our problem. I don't quite know how I'm going to get this to work. Um... Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. Um, we picked kind of a tough team. I don't think we can rework contracts or anything like that. I, it's like we, we might have to sim a few games so we can start getting, uh, you know, some revenue. Let me see something real quick. I will be right back. All right, so it does look like we do start to get some money, which is nice. So now we have seven. So now I'm going to see if we can actually get this to work. I'm sorry I did have to sim a few games. It's just I don't know what else to do in order for us to be able to do this. So I do apologize for having the, you know, that was definitely my last resort. But uh, no trades found. Uh, still budgetary constraints. All right, so I'm going to trade Gritchick for a prospect, okay? Because, um that we we need the the money so i'm gonna just see what i can get for him like nate low maybe could be a good uh he doesn't have a very big salary so our cash flow would go up i don't know what he'll be but i i gotta get rid of that contract so let's just see how that helps us now um i don't quite know how it will but now i gotta call up now nah, i'm not gonna worry about calling up anyone uh, so now our budget went up to, oh, I also got to turn off injuries. I do turn off injuries in this series, so it's just one thing to not have to worry about. Oh my gosh. He... Literally, that would work. That would be a killer trade if I could do that. But I can't, because the game won't let me, because this game hates me. That's why I can try and trade one more person. I can try and trade like Ken Giles. I don't know how good he's doing this year. Awful. Yeah, let's let's get him away from here. So let me see if this does anything. Probably not, but we'll see what it does. Caleb Ferguson would not be a bad uh, arm to have. Tyler, I think I'm going to go with the Caleb Ferguson one because he is a pretty good reliever that can grow. So I'll go with that. Now let's see if this actually works. Let's see. We got good cash flow, but it probably still won't work. So let's see. All right. Let's see if anything works here. No trades found. Okay. Budgetary constraints. Why Why? Why wouldn't it be? You know what I mean? All right. Let me sim to the deadline, and then we'll see what happens from there. So I just found three guys in our miners that cost us so much money. 
So I think they might be the problem. So I am going to just trade them all away for like nothing just to get rid of that contract or those contracts. I'm just seeing if there's anyone like even like ease. There's a 19 uh, Gamboa. I have him in my franchise. He doesn't really do too much. Just seeing if there's any A's. You never know. All right, I'll probably just go for a young young B. Yolbert, I'll go with him. All right, so that probably freed up a lot of money. It's got to work now. Let's see. Still giving me budgetary constraints? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so it's not by much. Um, okay. I don't really want to get rid of Guriel, though, because he's having a good year. How's Biggio doing? But he can grow. Uh, he's out of the question. He is not going anywhere. Uh, is he even doing that good? I, I don't care either way. We're keeping him. Uh, Smoke. I'm going to try and get rid of him. Bo Bichette is only a 73. And he's actually playing with us right now. He's not doing that good. We could always trade back for him later. Like if we got a good prospect. Well, you know what? Since we did cheat. That's right. We're going to have to kind of do this. So let's see if anything works here. Guys, this is the only suggested trade. I mean, we got to do it since, I mean, we, we did kind of cheat. So we got to we gotta go with this. Um, we can try and trade back for Vlad, but we do have to wait for the deadline. I actually did not sim to the deadline yet, So, but we have to wait for the deadline. So we did get Mike Trout, so that is good. Um, and I do apologize for this not quite going according to plan but um but yes yeah. so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh so now we need a new third baseman can boba Shep play 30 cannot i did kind of want this guy to play but i guess it's fine all right so we do need an extra bat i think or maybe not no we do i think hold on let me see what our pitching rotation yeah we're missing a guy wilmer font should i throw him in <laughs> and jason adam Oh my gosh, there's a lot of, uh, let's try, uh, oh, no, let's try him closing Caleb Ferguson. I want to see how well he does closing. I don't know how it'll go, but I want to give it a shot. What, what, what could we, you know, what could be lost? Uh, I'm going to send down Wilmer Font, I think though, and call up like Nate Pearson. I think that would be a smart thing to do. He's not even on the 40 man. That is great. So bump him up. Um... And then where is Wilmer Font? Because he definitely needs to get sent down. I don't know what AAA looks like. I don't know what we eat. Uh, let me see, actually. Tyler White. Rowdy Tylez. Tylez, sorry. Richard Urania. Bo Bichette, who is called up. I don't know really what we need. T. Oscar, Jonathan Davis. I don't really want to rush anyone. But I could do this. I could do Urania, Tyler White. I think I'm going to call Tyler White because he can also play third, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to call him up. Why not? And now we're road to the show. He does pretty well. So why not? Give him the chance. So there we go. So we can still go for uh, what's his name? Uh, Guerrero. We can still try and get him back, but we do have to wait for the deadline. Or we can try for next year. But this is going to count for one of the seasons. You know, because I know we were at a disadvantage, but that's just the way it works, guys. I can't just, I, I don't want to cheat and be like, oh, we'll get an extra year because, you know, we have to work through the battles. That's the that's the the thing about this series. So, so yes. <laughs> All right, so it is draft time. So let's go to the draft, see what we got going on. I didn't even pay attention to see, like, what's available. All right, so I definitely want to check uh, guys that, like, could be good. So, um, like, guys that are expected to be playing next year. But I don't know what the blue means. I don't know if it means blue chip or just fully accurate. Of course, it doesn't say here. I think it just means they're accurate. I don't think it necessarily means they're going to be good. I think it's just like, hey, man, guess what? We fully scouted these guys. Um, like I feel like I should go for this guy, but then again, I don't know how accurate that is. But I need a little. Um, I might go for 
Aiden Mueller. I don't know. I suck at doing these when I don't know a whole lot. But that is fully accurate. And he's a B, 65. An A would be nice. Or Alexis Moda. I, I kind of just want to take a shot in the dark. Let's go for Lorne Turner. I don't know if that's going to end up being what he is, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know what I mean? I suck at drafting, though, in this game. I'm really bad at it. Uh, I just don't really know too much about it all. But I usually like to sort by overall because potential doesn't really matter too much to me. Mm, see, these guys suck. Uh, I, I usually like to go by the guys that are supposed to, like, be productive. I might go for, like, him or him. Let me go for... No, he's a reliever. Uh, I might go for my boy Bobby. Let's go for Bobby Elam. I think he was an 80. I don't know. That's why I feel like they're always, like, what they say they are. Maybe not the overall. P no, I feel like even then. Because I usually always get high overall players in these. Corey Joss. Sure. Go for him. Why not? These guys might help us get, you know, our boy back next year. All right. Uh, sort here again. A Alexis Moda. He is a C, but it does say 80 overall, so I'll go for him, and we'll see if he's going to be any good. I think we're getting good players. I'm going to assume we are. I'm going to hope we are, because I'm going to get ripped in the comments if we don't. Let's go for the reliever. Why not? We're going to need a bullpen, so I just don't know if these guys are going to be worth anything next year, but we'll see. See, with baseball, the guys take a lot longer to grow. So, uh, we have Bo Bichette, so we don't really need a shortstop. Um, left fielder. So, by overall again. Any good potential players? I don't need a shortstop, though. Adrian Moreno. I know he's a starter. Or his potential wasn't that great, but the overall was decent. So, all right. Now, let's see how good these guys were. Uh, see if I really screwed things up. <laughs> this is where we find out. Uh, where do I go? Oh, sign draft picks. Okay. Uh, so here we go. 72 C potential. I don't know if that's who we picked first. I can't quite remember. Uh, so all the potentials were pretty bad. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a very good draft. Not going to lie. Uh, this guy sucks. Corey Joss. You know what? He doesn't look bad. Those are good. Con That's good contact. And the guy's got speed, too. It looks like he sucks at fielding. So he might be a left fielder. But he doesn't. Does he have a second? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, Never mind. I guess he is a center fielder. All right. But everyone else kind of looks pretty crappy. But who knows? Maybe they'll amount to something. But, yeah, I don't do too well with... uh with this game when it comes to drafting so i do apologize guys very much but all right let's continue simming to the uh the deadline all right it is trade deadline time so we are going to see what i have to cough up in order to get my boy back so we're gonna go to the angels here what is he at now oh he's only an 83 is he having a good year eh okay let's just see i'm sure trout's gonna be involved right oh no that's actually not bad Although, I didn't even know about this Groshans guy. Maybe we're better off keeping him. No, I'm kidding. Um, Okay, the only thing I don't like that much is Guriel. So, I'm going to do everything else they wanted. That third baseman, even though he does look pretty damn good. I don't think he'll be good enough, you know? Um, And who was the other one? What else did it say? Oh now it's Sean now it's a oh now it's different. Okay. I like that a lot. I am going to do that trade. Yes, sir. There we go. See? It, it all works out. Okay. So now we got our boy back. Um so we definitely gotta make sure he's playing third for sure. Alright, I like this. This is looking pretty damn good. Of course we're kind of short on outfielders out here. 
Does any of these guys play outfield? Oh, good. Drury does. See, we're all good. It all works out. And this guy does. There we go. We got some second positions. Great. All right. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. Now we're having some trouble. How good's Ferguson as the closer? I'm sure he's very happy. He's he's doing okay. He's got four blown saves, but his ERA is good. Maybe he's our closer. Uh, all right. So we got to call up someone else. Or maybe just trade for it now. Nah, wait till free agency starts. Let's just call up Anthony K. I guess. I don't really know what else to do. So, yeah, we'll just call him up. Oh, I know what I need to do. Let me fix the coaching real quick. Alrighty, guys. We are back. So, here are our coaches now. We don't have a manager, though. I'm still waiting until I can do that. I'm not sure why I can't. But, um... This is the guy I offered a contract for. I'm not sure how long I have to wait. But I extended everyone's contract who was up except for Galvis and My Miley. Mail? I don't know how to say his name. But, uh, yeah, I don't think these guys were worth the price they were asking for. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we're going to sim to the rest of the season. I don't want to do any more trades. So, now that we got our boy back, we got Vlad back. So, that's, that's what really matters. And Trout's doing well, too. We just, I think what we really need is better pitching because I don't think we have a single good starter <laughs> in the rotation. But uh, hopefully this Barucky gets a little bit better. But we'll see. But I think I know where we're going to focus on free agency for next uh, season. So, so yes. But uh, we don't have a, let's just auto-fix the coach and see what they gave us. Um, hopefully a good coach. Oh, we got an A. Okay, good. That's That might be the guy I offered a contract to. So now we should be good. Then we got all the pending transactions. Uh, I don't think any of this really matters if we offer these guys anything. So it's not like we're going to get them. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to sim to the end of the season here. And I will see you guys when we get there. But yeah, don't think we're going to be making the playoffs. <laughs> so we finished 61 and 101. I don't think this month was exactly awful. Doesn't look like it was too great either, but I think I don't think it was as bad. So I mean, we had some big losing streaks. So like, I think the pitching is definitely the biggest problem on this team that we definitely need to fix. But we didn't exactly have the best pitchers to start with. You know, Stroman's not on the team anymore. Um, who was? I don't even think Sanchez is anymore. So we didn't really have great pitching to start. But, um, but yeah, so hopefully we have some guys in the minors. I actually don't know if we have any good pitchers in the minors. Let me just sort by. We have Pearson, who is an A potential. And then we have Pardino, but I don't know when he's going to be ready. He's still in single A, so we'll be happy if we get him in, in our third year. But, uh, but yeah, that's all we got. So we're going to sim to the offseason now and see what uh, we got going on there. Yankees beat the Dodgers. Okay, are you sure you'd like to? Yes, I am sure. All right, uh, so our manager retired. That's great. Uh, have you retired players? Just John Axford. Okay, so that's the only big loss there. Pedroia retired. So Pujols and Suzuki made the Hall of Fame. No surprises there. Are you sure you'd like to exit? Yes, I am sure. Okay, so Galvis is the, uh, the only guy we can offer a contract to. Okay, we also need a new manager, preferably a guy with an A. Uh, we'll just go with my man Cortez here. Uh, he probably won't accept that. Let me give him 13.9. Not too much more, but we'll see what happens there. So let's go ahead and sim. Uh, oh, boy. Hold on. Stop simulating. I forgot to check out all the other contracts. So we got to offer all these guys contracts. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I offered pretty much all the important guys contracts. So... I am going to see what we have in free agency. We definitely need some starting pitching. So I don't want to get Rendon unless I was to move him the second. But nah, even then, nah, I don't think we need anyone there. Although I could sign him and move Guerrero to first, but I don't think we'll do that. Uh, so we definitely need some help in the pitching. So let's see if we can get Garrett Cole. That would be nice. Um, and he would definitely be our ace. So I'm going to offer him 132. We'll give him that. And he's looking for 25 mil a year. So he wants more years. 
Can we just give him as much as he wants? 10? I mean, we're not going to need him for that long, but I'm just saying. And let's see if we can sign Mad Bum, too. I don't know if we'll have the money, but we might as well offer it to him and see what happens. He will be rotation, though. That's the only problem. But I can bump up the years and see if he'll be interested in that. So hopefully we have enough to do all that. Um, who else is there? Jose Abreu now. Jay Goderizzi. How much does he want? He might be a good guy to throw in the rotation. Uh, he doesn't really want any interest in us, it looks like. But I'll offer him a contract and see what happens. Um, all right, these are the best guys we could use or lose in the Rule 5. Uh, I don't really want any of them. Maybe Tapera. I'll offer him. Where even is he? Or was he a starter? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I just completely missed him. All right, so I'll add him. He's going to be the only one I add, though. I'm not worrying about a 64 and a 26. Uh, yeah, they, they can go. A salary ar arbitration. Devin Travis. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about any of these guys. I don't even know if I... And now I'll offer him that. Uh, but mainly I'm not going to worry about. So... All right, uh, so I did all the contracts. I'm going to sim a day and just see, like, what ends up going on. Uh, we got Garrett Cole. That's nice. So there we go. We got a good pitcher. Uh, so let's see a couple guys that accept. Like, this guy I'm not bothering with. They're, all the guys that I chose not to re-sign are really no one to be upset about. Uh, Blue Jays have can no longer offer the contract. But this offer has been withdrawn. Oh, okay. We can't afford it. But we did get Mad Bum. I think that's a good enough free agency for us guys. Um, so let me just see what our budget is right now. Uh, how, what are we getting a week? 470 k a week. Oh, boy. All right. Um, so we definitely need to hope that we do a lot better this year. Let's just take a look at the pitching rotation. So obviously we got Cole. Uh, Thornton we'll probably keep in, but we got to get that. Pannone. Or K yeah, bum yeah, K's got to go. Uh, so we got Brooky and Pry Thornton. But do I want Pearson there? How did he do last year? Yeah, he didn't do well. But how did this Panone guy do? Not good either. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give him another chance. But I'm gonna send down Pearson to Triple A. Uh, so let me do that right now because I do want him to grow. Where even is he? I'm like missing everyone right now. I right, moved to Triple A. Um, okay. And then we got, for lineups, well, we shouldn't have to do anything with this stuff. Oh, he's, he's our backup. I didn't know that. He's actually a good catcher, not a good hitter, but he looks like a decent catcher. Um, do we have anyone in the minors that could catch? Reese McGuire. We could call him up. He looks like he'd be decent. Or Riley Adams. Nah, let's call up McGuire. I'm going to give him a chance here. I'll add him to the 40-man, move him up to MLB, and now we got some issues here. Uh, I'll just move him to AAA. Maybe I will re-sign him just so we have the depth, because apparently we don't have, like, any catchers. And I'll move Hissy to AA, too. All right. So, yeah, let me let me just re-sign Mail. I don't really want to, but can I offer him arbitration? I'll just do this, and we'll see who they side with. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep simming because I don't think I'm going to sign anyone else. It doesn't seem like... Oh, Rendon went to the Phillies just like in our franchise. All right, Carlos Carrasco went to the Yankees for Tanaka and Frazier. Wow, okay, Will Harris, Ozuna went to Texas. Uh, do we have... Like, how much money do we have? I actually would like to know. Oh, man, we went down, though, a little bit. Our salary. What is our budget? Like, our... Uh, what's it called at? Um, I want to see what I have for, maybe I can't do it here. I want to see my sponsorships. I guess I can't do them right now, but we got Will Stein as our manager, so that's nice. Did I offer him? I don't remember, but I guess he's our manager, so that's fine with me. Uh, so let's just sim the rest of the off season, see how we do. No, I don't want to stop simulating. No, Josh Donaldson went to Washington. No, don't stop simulating. Yeah, let's see who's in the Rule 5. We got first pick. Hunter Harvey. Andrew Gneisner. 
I think I'll claim him. He could be our backup instead of the other guy. Unless we think he's ready to go. Ooh, Taewon Walker? That's kind of tempting to pick him up. Don't you guys think? Edgar Santana. There's some decent players here. I am going to go for Taewon Walker. I am going to get him. Jarrell Cotton. Someone did get Neisner. Let's see who else is available because it didn't look like a bad. I was tempted to get Harvey, but he's only a 65 and he's 25. Is that one guy still available? Yeah, Edgar Santana. I was thinking about grabbing him. Yeah, Dustin Fowler. Um, Yasmel Valentin. He was a Philly. I wish he was a lot better than he actually ended up being. Uh, Edubre Ramos. I think I might pick him up instead. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Ramos. I'm actually surprised he's even here. I think that's going to be it for me, though. Yeah, I'm going to skip my selection. So, all right, we're done now. Exit the rule five. Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll sim the rest of the offseason since we're done here. Oh, and Carlos Carrasco got moved again. Jeez, poor guy. White Sox trade offer. Ross Stripling for Dalton Pompey. That might not be a bad trade. What is Stripling's overall? 77. Oh, I thought he was younger for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think he would be a bad addition. And Pompey's in the minors. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Let's do it. How do I accept it? There we go. Yeah. All right. I forgot it's the start button. Wait, did we get... What's his name? I didn't even know that... What's his name was a uh, free agent. I hope we got him. And now we got all these contract extensions. Let me make an offer for my man Taewon. He only wants 3.2, so let's do that. A longer contract would be better, of course. Now he wants 6.1 mil. All right, good. I was going to say I'm not doing any more than that. Oh, my gosh. He's an 88 Biggio? How, though? His hitting's not even that good. Uh... Can we do one year? 2.2 mil a year. There we go. Good. Because we only need them for one more year. All right. And let's see if I can do the same for Edubre. I'll give him six point out a few years. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. And then I'll make you an offer for one year. We'll see if he's happy with that. There we go. And then my, Miley, however you say, is a male. I just want you for one year, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She wants another year. Whatever. That's it, though. All right. At least we got those guys taken care of. So, wow. Even Marcakis is a free agent. How old is he? 36. I'm going to sign him, though. Or should I get Cruz? Oh, man. that's There's some good, like, guys here, though, that were never signed. Even Salvador Perez? Jeez. How much does he want, though? Ah, oh, he wants a good amount. He's not even that good. Not for 16 mil. That's probably why no one signed him. Uh, I am going to get... Oh, do I want... No, nah, I'll get Marcakis for one year. All right, good. So we got him. Uh, What are we in? Spring training? Let's send him to the regular season. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we got. So we got Cole Baruki, Thornton, and Walker. Let me switch these two. Oh, wow, they grew a lot. Okay, that's nice. And we got Panone. All right, sweet. I'm cool with this. Let me actually bump up Walker. Or should I have bumped up? Now nah, do Walker. Um, all right, so this team actually looks a lot better. So Law is our closer. Hopefully he does well. Uh, didn't Ferguson do well, though, as the closer? Or no? He actually didn't. I'm going to try him as our closer and see how well he does. And now let's just see the lineups and see what we got here. Uh, okay, so Marcakis is playing good. I think Vigio wanted to be a star, though. That's the only thing. I think he's going to be a little. Yep, okay. <laughs> um, what did Bichette want to be? Every day, okay. So let's switch those two around so they're happy. Um, There we go. 
Just like so. And we bump up smoke too. There we go. Now we're good. And no one's on the bench that I don't want to be on the bench, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're good. So we got Jansen and Miley as our catchers, okay? And then that's all a mess, but we don't have to worry about that. I'll let the computer worry about that. All right, so we're looking pretty good, guys. And, of course, we got Trout um, right there. So, all right, so let's go ahead and start simulating. And I will see you guys at the trade deadline or if we get a trade offer or something like that. And I forgot about the draft. So let's go ahead and do that. We got first overall pick, so we really got to make sure we make this count. Uh, but the thing is, I want a guy that's good. So who is, like, supposed to... See, that's the thing that I hate about this game is that it doesn't tell you, like, the, the big one. You know what I mean? This guy's a 70 and 80 potential, so that's good. Um, I'll go for him because he's the highest drafted, so... And you got, I, I keep forgetting that it's on the, the scale, that 70 or no, 20, 80 scale. So like 20 being the worst and then 80 being the best. So I keep forgetting about that. All right, so we didn't get a second round pick probably because of the guys we drafted. Uh, and I know people are telling me to start going for accuracy. So Daryl Hamill. I'm not liking that too much, though. That's why I, I do start to take chances later on. Um... Albert Camacho, Carlos Perez. I mean, a lot of these guys we could just end up trading for something. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just seeing what there is. Like, who's the best? I might go for this Daryl guy. But I feel like closers don't have the best, uh, what do you call it, like potential. You know what I mean? Or like the best trade value. Oh, man, I have like no one else very accurate, though. Um, I'm just looking for accurate guys. These guys kind of stink. Uh, well, this guy doesn't look too bad, but he's only a 60 overall. So that could be like, what, a 70, 80? I don't know. Um, this guy's a, he's not supposed to be picked though till later, but he's a 65 overall. Oh wait, I was looking at this. Never mind. Um, let me just sort by potential and see who's the best here and accurate. All right. This guy's somewhat accurate. He's got good potential. I'll go with him. Why not? Even though he's not expected to, to start anytime soon. I mean, we could just trade him next year. Uh, yeah, I probably won't even do the draft for next season because it's not going to matter because that'll be our final one. Uh, Daryl Hamill. I'm just going to pick this guy up. We'll see what he ends up being. And we got what? I forget how many there are. If there's six or seven, I can't remember. I think there's six. Uh, Fernando Fernandez. Um, I'll pick him up. Sure. I'm going for the more accurate guys this time because it didn't work too well when we were just taking shots in the dark. Dave Smith. Um... I don't even know if I... Okay, yeah, these guys... I think it's time to start taking shots in the dark at this point. Uh, I'm going to go for my man Dave here. Why not? See what he is. He's only 18, too. All right, here we go. Let's see how good these guys were. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Let's see what we got. So, where do I go again? Sign draft picks. Uh, wow, 94 potential. Boone Lind, he was the guy to go for, definitely. Only 18. He might start next year. Um, I will definitely offer him a contract. Uh, Fernando Mateo, 54 overall, but a potential. That's probably going to be a guy that we trade for sure um, next year. Daryl Hamill, not awful, but probably won't amount to anything. Luckily, he was a late-round pick. Fernando Fernandez, not. Uh, he's got decent hitting, though, uh, right now. And then Dave Smith, who's 83 potential, I think it said. 61 overall at 18. That is not bad. So I think that was a good late round pick. Not a bad draft, guys, especially for these two. This guy's going to be a stud. He's already a 73. He could probably pitch now. He probably wouldn't do great. But, but yeah. But, hey, we got Trout leading the polls. That's nice for center field. And uh, look at how well we're doing, guys. 40 and 23. Not bad. So I'm going to sim to the deadline, and I'll see you guys then. Also, guys, I just remembered I completely forgot to show you guys the stats last year and how good everyone did. So I do apologize for that. So here's uh, Trout. So I'm not going to go through everyone, but 
you know, I this is the most important one, I would think. So there's how well Trout did, and then Guerrero. Not awful, not bad. Uh, Guriel, uh, I think we already saw how well he did. Um, I do want to see what Smoke did last year. He was okay. 250 hitter. Uh, let's just take a look at the awards real quick. Um, that's like the only other thing I'd kind of want to see. So no one for us. I'm just going to go through and see. Wow. Domingo German won Cy Young. Uh, just going to see if there's any Blue Jays. Doesn't look it. Uh, Guriel did win Gold Glove, so that's cool. Um, and Mike Trout won Silver Slugger. Who got rookie? Eloy Jimenez. And now Shed Long, Estrada, and Brito are in the running for it this year. All right. Who won in the NL? Dustin May. And now Luan Diaz, uh, Brennan Rogers, and Matt Beatty are competing for this year's uh, Rookie of the Year. Okay. And we'll take a look. Oh, no. We can't see the All-Stars for last year. But here's the All-Stars for this year. Bum and Cole made it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, see if anyone else did um, on our team. So far, I don't see anyone unless I'm just oblivious, which is true. I am. And Trout. All right, so that's it there. All right, let's go ahead and continue simulating. We are, yes, we are at the deadline. Just want to see if there's anyone on this team that I would like to get rid of. Our cash flow has not been very good, but, um, but it's understandable as well. <laughs> so... Uh, what do I want to try and do here? Let's take a look at our contracts and just see, like, what is on this team that is, you know, that costs a lot. So, good budget here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, let's see. Should probably go for next year. Uh, Walker has a big one. That's about it. Smoke, not too much. Guerrero, Biggio. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of big contracts. Um, I think we're okay with what we got. It's just these guys. But the thing is, we also don't have a lot going on. So, with the team, that's the only other, you know, the only issue. I'm tempted. Nah, I kind of want to. Should I go for the 55,000 per save instead of the double play? We'll go with that. Uh, I do want to keep the 10,000 per home run. Oh, I should probably have one for per game. Um... Yeah, instead of the 55,000 per save, let's go for the one per game. Where's that one? Here we go. 15,000 per game. Uh, 10,000 per home run. Sure. We got a lot of power hitters per hit, definitely. Yeah, that's good. All right. So that should help us out a little bit, I'd hope. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's any trades I really want to do. Uh, I think I might wait until next year. I mean, the team's doing great. So I don't think there's really anything to rush. Um so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any trades right this second. But, yeah, let's go ahead soon to the end of the season, and I'll see you guys when we get there. How about that? 104 and 58, the Blue Jays have finished. Very, very nice. We have made the playoffs, and it is not a wild card spot. So, we'll be taking on either the Yanks or Boston. Now, let me actually not forget to do this. So, let's take a look. I think Marcakis was a good free agent to sign. Not bad at all. Also, Biggio had himself a good um, sophomore year. Trout as well, 40 homers, 283. Guerrero with 314 can only be better next year, right? I mean, with that overall, 97, maybe he'll hit 99 next year. Guriel Jr. was a 80, is an 89 now. He had a pretty decent year. Everyone did really well. Look at Smoke, 340. How did he hit 340? Look at those stats. There's no way. Wow. Bo Bichette uh, had a pretty decent year. Billy McKinney, Danny Jansen even was good. How was my man Miley? Not good. Okay. Uh, Hanson was not good. So it looks like, ah, no, Tyler White was good. He should have been playing instead of the, uh, I don't know. Well, how was, I thought we had someone else here that could maybe, I don't know. But Tyler White did not do bad. And he grew a little bit too, which is nice. I'm telling you, he does pretty decent in this game. Is he in, like, one of the lineups? Uh, first base against lefties. Oh, okay, and he's better than Smoke against lefties, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's why he's he plays against lefties. Okay. Man, I wish I had a... You know, I could put him somewhere. Maybe instead of McKinney. Now, because McKinney's an 80. He could still grow. So I, I don't really want to put uh, White in for him. But... Yeah, not a big year at all. Let's take a look at the pitching. So Garrett Cole, 3-4-5, 18-6. Bum, 17-4, maybe one Cy Young. 
Walker did not have a very good year, uh, but Baruki did. Baruki, uh, hopefully I said his name right. Uh, Thornton, not great. Uh, Pannone, hopefully I said his name right. A very good year. Uh, he's going up in overall, too. Maybe he'll take uh, Walker's place. Now, I do want to keep Walker. I still think he could be decent. Tapera, 3A2. Looks like the whole bullpen did okay. And not too bad, Mesa. Ferguson was good. Ramos, he didn't even, he barely pitched this guy. Um, and Derek Law, good year as a closer. Only 25 saves, but he came in around the trade the trade deadline to start closing because we had Ferguson before. But yeah, he didn't do too bad. Law, I think he might be our new closer. But uh, let's go ahead and start simulating, guys. It's in the postseason. So let's see how this goes. Uh, we won. Okay, we beat the Yanks. Thornton did not have a good game, but he still got the win. Barucki got lit up, it looks like. Ferguson got the win there. And then Bumgarner got the win there. And uh, Cole probably had the worst performance. All right, so not bad. Let's sim this game here. Loss, big time. Another big loss. Looks like we might be done here. I don't know. Never say never. Uh, we got a win. Okay. Can we get to game seven? Oh, my gosh. 10-0. Who's pitching this game? Mad Bum. He's the guy. Oh, no. We lost. Man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Well, we almost went to the World Series. Hopefully, next year will be better. But definitely a bummer, guys. But let's sim to the offseason. Astros beat the Dodgers. Um, yes, I, I don't really care about looking at the postseason stats. A few retired players. Fearabend Fira retired. Uh, any Hall of Famers? Just Robinson Cano. Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, exclusive free agents. I... Mm, what's he want? He doesn't want too much. 2.8 is not bad. Uh, can I give him three? I'll give him three and see if that goes. Because uh, that's not bad for a bench guy. Um, and maybe we'll let White start playing. I don't know. But, uh, but he had a good year. That's why I kind of would like to keep him around. Uh, and then what did I want to do here? Uh, our staff, I guess, is good. So let's send the free agency one. Today's the last day. Uh, no. Okay, now we should be good. So I don't want to look at free agency just yet. Uh, arbitration, no one. Selects 40 man. Oh, Stripling. I forgot we even had him. Whoops. Okay. Add him to the roster. And then who was the other one? Brock Stewart. Um... I don't really care about him. So, oh, Mookie. <laughs> um, I didn't want to look at that yet. Dang it. All right, tender contracts. Oh, great. It doesn't look like I got too many this time. All right, I'm going to do all these, and then I will be right back, and I'll let you know who I don't even bother signing. All right, guys, so I pretty much offered everyone a contract, except for, you know, a few guys that were just, like, irrelevant. But let's go ahead and take a look at free agency, if I even have the money to, to, uh, to get anyone. So, let's see what we got here. So, free agency. We got Mookie Betts, Sean Doolittle. I'm, I'm kind of tempted. Nah, he didn't even do that well. Uh, Trevor Bauer. I heard he sims very well in this game. Uh, as you can see this year, he did great. Uh, he is a very tempting guy to go for. Or Kirby Yates. Uh, he did not have a very good year either. Uh, Brad Hand. How, how about him? How did he do? Man, all these closers did not do all that great. Uh, Real Muto, but we have Danny Jansen. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I want to get someone. Because I, I don't even know if I have the money for it. But, I, I mean, I kind of like the team we got right now. So that's why I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I, I really don't think we should. If anything, maybe a bullpen arm. That would maybe be the best thing to go for. Uh, I am tempted to go for, like, Sean Doolittle, but he's getting up there in age, so I feel like Brad Hand would be, like, a better guy to go for and hope that he does well. Kirby Yates or Brad... No, I think Brad Hand would be better. He had a good year this year. Yeah, I'm going to make him an offer. Let's do one year, 11 mil, and see if we can get him. And it looks like he's the most interested in ours, so... I think that's going to be my only free agent signing. And we got him. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead. And uh, I already tackled my free agent uh, or my 40-man roster. So let's go ahead and uh, no. View offer. Oh, boy. Justin Nance for Eric Pardino. I just want to see what this guy is. 
He doesn't look bad, but I'd rather keep Pardino for sure. I don't know if we're going to use him this year. What is he even? Oh, he's only a 65. Oh, man. Um, Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to end up using him. But I don't think I'll use this guy either. So, thank you, but no thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to go well. Let's just see. The, the fact that no one's been picked yet tells me this was a pretty crappy uh, draft. Uh, let's just see if there's anyone worth grabbing. Uh, usually I look for like high 70s. Oh yeah, this this sucks. Yeah, no no thank you. All right, simulate the rest of the off season. I think uh, we got another trade offer. Dewell De De Lugo for Eric Pardino. Man, these third baseman. Uh oh, nah, he's not that good. He's a decent fielder, but that's about it. I don't even know if I've heard of this guy. He doesn't look that great though. If he was younger, maybe, but yeah, no thanks. All right, so let's sim the off season. Trevor Rosenthal. Man, a lot of guys had to be given up for him. All right, uh, another offer. Is it for... No, it's not. It's for Mike Leak. Yeah, no thanks. Gonna definitely... Uh, it's gonna be a hard no. Uh, today's a... No. Uh, so, okay. We don't have to worry about any free agency, which is nice. Because um, everyone's done now. So, we don't have to worry about doing any of that. Because this is our last season. So, yes. So, let's go ahead and just see what the lineup looks like. Ah, uh, no. Let's not look here, actually. Let's just go to us uh, in the regular season. Um, and let's see what we got. So, lineups. We got Bo Bichette leading off. Don't think I agree with that. I'm going to bump up Marcakis. Who's the one that wants to be a star? Biggio, right? Yeah. We got to have him there be so he doesn't get too grumpy. Uh, so, let's do that. Do I want white there? I think we should for lefties. He's good against lefties too. Drury. And then we got Bichette. Um, yeah, okay. And then Biggio again. It's got to go up here. I shouldn't have done it that way. There we go. All right. I think that's all good. Uh, Smoke, though. Who should be playing Smoke? Oh, wait. This is lefties, right? That's why. Okay, never mind. But he should be in against... Yeah, okay, just want to make sure he was playing against righties. Because he's got that power. I need him playing. So, yes. Okay, so I think we're good with this. Uh, Bichette, okay. Yeah, I think this is a good lineup we got here. I feel like we might have too many guys, though, on the team. Uh, I'm liking the pitching rotation, though. I'm hoping these guys really step it up this year. Uh, I like the, uh, the closers. I think the closers will do well. I'm going to move Law, though, to set up. And I'm also going to no longer make him a closer because I did edit his thing. So I'm going to make him a reliever so he's not as upset that he's a closer now. Um, <laughs> all right. And I think we should be good. Although I think... Oh, no. We don't have too many guys. I don't know why I thought we did. Never mind. All right. So let's go ahead and um, start simulating. And I will see you guys at the draft. All right, guys, we are at the trade deadline. 69 and 43 is our record currently. Not bad at all. Uh, I just want to see where do we... There we go. So we're four games ahead of the Yanks. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, let's just take a look at the All-Stars real quick before I forget to show you guys that. Um, so we got Barucki made it. Wow, okay, so he had a better year. Uh, Brad Hand also made it on our team. Not the best ERA. We got a couple closers with awful ERAs. Um, like, I think you want to be well, like, like a 2.5 at the highest for a closer. That's just me, though. Uh, seeing if anyone else. I'm not seeing anyone so far. Uh, oh my gosh, not even Vlad's on here. Wow, what is this? At least Trout is. Okay. Man, I can't wait to see how the team's doing. Let's take a look at the pitching first. Uh, I don't know why I said the draft because, um, yeah, we're not doing the draft, obviously. So, because we don't need to worry about those guys and we can't even trade them. So, so Cole, 8 and 7 with the 3.16, not bad. Bumgarner, kind of slacking, but Barucki is doing very well. Thornton, eh, but Walker, he's doing a lot better this year. I'm happy about that. Good stuff from Gavilio. Don't know how to say his name. Adubre Ramos is 11 and 2. Wow. He could win Cy Young just from the record. Uh, Miza, not bad. 
Uh, Tapera's not doing too hot, but Ferguson's killing it. Law, not well. He's probably up upset about... Uh, maybe we should switch. Nah, I'm going to keep Ramos where he's at, actually. Uh, I'll keep Law there, too, and hand we we already saw from his um pitching. But Marcakis, uh, yeah, not doing... Eh, he's doing okay. Uh, Bishio's doing great. Uh, very good stuff from the, uh, the second spot. Trout's doing phenomenal. 40 home runs already, 349. Vlad Jr., okay. Uh, Gurriel's okay. Smoke, eh. White's killing it, though. Bichette's not doing the best. McKinney, eh. And then Jansen is only hitting 223. Um, all right. Uh, as for the bench guys, nothing really too exciting. Drury's not doing bad, but White, I don't know. I'm very tempted to put him in, but he's not that good against righties, so that's the only reason why I kind of don't want to. But, because I feel like I'd rather have smoke there. But, all right, no big deal. Uh, so, let's go ahead and sim the rest of the season, see what happens, and I will see you guys when we get there. So, I feel like an idiot because I forgot to do any trades, and I already simmed past the deadline, and the only guys I can get for anyone are, like, prospects now. So, I'm really upset but I really wanted to call this guy up and see how well he did. But unfortunately, I just don't think it's worth substituting him over any of these guys. So, yeah, but it, it is kind of a bummer because I really want to see either him or Pearson. But unfortunately, I just don't have any space for these guys. I mean, maybe if I called him up, he would do a little better than Walker. Let's just see real quick. Uh, and I can always move him to the pen. There was someone not doing well. I forget who it was. Uh, but there was another pitcher not doing too hot. Uh, Gavilio, maybe? But he was doing well the year before, so I still got faith in him. I kind of don't want to give him the boot just yet. And I called up Kingham. Uh, Tapera, I sent down. I'm kind of tempted to send down Law. I think I'm going to send down Derek Law um, and see what happens there. So what I'm going to do here now is I am going to put... Pearson in the rotation and see how well he does. He'll probably be very happy about that. And Kingham is going to stay there as long relief. And then we'll see what Gavilio has as a setup man. So hopefully this doesn't go too bad. So, oh, don't want to play. Don't want to do that. All right, let's zoom to the end of the season and we'll see how well all this goes. So we finished out exactly the way we did last year, I believe. 104 and 58. Uh, regular season has come to an end. Yes, we do want to stop simulating. Let's see how well everything went. Uh, let's take a look at awards. So Mike Trout won Triple Crown, Silver Slugger, MVP, Hank Aaron Award, and Gold Glove went to Bichette. So that's pretty nice. Look at those stats. Dang. Mike Trout, you are a freaking beast. 376 home runs at only 29. I hope this guy's got a chance to, you know, break the home run record for someone in this game um so all right let's see what else we got going on here uh league leaders let's see who let in anything so trout let in home runs rbis and average of course also runs slugging percentage and on base percentage wow uh baruki won in winning percentage and also cole won in complete games so wait where's uh i want to see wins i want to see so he went 20 and 5, and this man did not win a Cy Young award. I, I got to see who won Cy Young. If it was Berrios, you got to be kidding me. How did he win over. That's bull. That is such bull. How did he win over Barucky? How many strikeouts did he have? 216. Maybe that's what got him it. I don't know. But let's take a look at and see how everyone did in total. Uh, so Cole. 13-9, not bad. Bumgarner definitely got a lot better. Barucki was great. Thornton was good. And Pearson was not all that special. Uh, Taewon Walker seems to be doing a little bit better in the pen. And Kingham was very nice. Not bad at all. Uh, Ramos, okay, 11-2. His record stayed the same. Ferguson was uh, not bad. Gavilio, okay. And Brad Hand lowered his ERA to the 3. Exactly. All right, and then let's check the lineups. Marcakis, not a bad season. Biggio, 282. Mike Trout, of course, phenomenal. Vlad, 42 homers. He killed it. Guriel, not bad. Smoke was decent. Bichette, not all that great. 
McKinney, not good. Uh, Jansen, I think I might want to put Drury in instead of McKinney. I think I'm going to try that out and see. Or maybe even Tyler White. Nah, I think Drury would be better. So let's put him in and see how well he does over McKinney. And that was pretty much it, right? Jansen was not all that good. Let's check the bench. Hanson. See if there's any good studs over here. But Tyler White and Drury weren't awful off the bench. So pretty good stuff there. All right, guys. It's do or die time now. Uh, let's see how well the, uh, the playoffs go for us. And we lost in the first round of the Yankees. Well, guys, three seasons simmed and yet another trading four series, including McDavid and Trout. And we have still not won a Stanley Cup or a World Series. I don't believe we've won one in either, so that kind of sucks. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens, guys. But that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below what team you would like to see us use next. And the one with the most thumbs up will be used. We've already used the Mets, Phillies, and Blue Jays now. So let's see which one wins next. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.